what I'm going to show you. Hey, Kayla. I'm going to show you, see if we can do this. I'm going to show you, uh, it's probably not going to do it. Well, I'll try anyhow. Right here, under my name, are a list of friends, pages, marketplace, okay? If you just click on marketplace, this comes up. Now, here, I'm trying to find out where, okay, filters, okay? In my filter, I don't think you can see this too good. I put my location and I put a, a radius of 20 miles. That's how far I'll go. All right. So that's already applied. Then if I go on and I search marketplace for, let's say, let's say ribbon for sale. Okay. A lot of ribbon will come up and a lot of it says ships to you and so on what I do is I go to here on my filters and I hit search by no delivery method okay your delivery method will say all or local pickup or shipping I always hit local pickup because then it's only going to show me the ones that were in 20 miles of me Okay, so no good deals. Let's try Christmas decorations. Okay, again, I'm gonna make sure I hit local pickup. Now, okay, see right here? This person has a whole bunch for $45. Let's just click on it. Let's just see what's in there. Somebody's got wreaths. Somebody's got ornaments. But as you can see, like there's a whole assortment of stuff. So I browse through there and I look and see if there's anything that I can use for, look here, you got a sleigh. You got some snowman. I look, first of all, I read the description, check out the condition, and then I ask a bunch of questions. And look here, she had it listed for 45 or for 60, she marked it down to 45. Usually I can go in now and I can say, well, will you take 30? And boom, if they wanna get rid of it, they'll get rid of it, all right? So, let me just find a place to put this. And I'll show you my box of goodies. All right. I think I'll pull the stool out here. Put this down on here. All right. This is what I went for. All right. Let me, let me make you bigger now. Okay. I went for this girl. These are hard to find. If they are, they're very expensive. Now, I won't keep this arrangement on here. I will get rid of it. There is a whole little light set on here, but it's really corroded, and I think I'm going to have to rip it off. But some of the stuff I can use, some of it I can't. But I would have paid $15 alone for that, okay? And it's in really good condition. So that's one thing I'm going to take apart and redo. Look at that. That can go, that can go on a plate. You can put a whole arrangement around this. You can put lights under it. I could put a base on this and have it stand up. A lot I can do with that. Now this, I don't know if I'll keep, but you could even fill this up, okay? and put an arrangement coming out the top and add a bow to it. And it's in really good condition. So that's something I could use. Then there was this. Now this, these are really unusual. 
they would look really nice in an arrangement. This gold thing rattles. I don't know what's in it. <laughs> it's some kind of pod. <laughs> then there were these really nice size pine cones. One of those little grungy tea lights. I can always use those. This, I could put a whole arrangement in here. Or I could fill the bottom with lights and then put like um, pine all on top here. And some candles. That would look really pretty. And that's in good condition. A lot of times if you can't see the condition of stuff, um, you can ask them, hey, I always say, do you do meats? And they'll say yes. And then they tell me where in their area they usually meet somebody. And then we try to connect in a place that's like halfway for them, halfway for me. And most of the time I will look over this stuff. But I really looked over this stuff before I purchased it. Then we have this. An ice skate. And it had this sticking in the top. Now... What's really hot now is to take these and totally glitter them and then put an arrangement. This would look really cute. I have an antique sled. This would look really cute with a really nice arrangement in it just hanging from the sled. Okay, so perfect. Already, I've far exceeded my $15 and what I got. Then there was this, another ball I can use. Then there was this little snowman. Definitely. Well, welcome, Shelly. I'm sorry. I, I got a little message that just popped up. Welcome, Sherry. Sorry, Sherry. What I'm doing is I'm showing everybody what they can do as far as looking on marketplace for things unusual. I like unusual things. Things that I can change up. And look, you could even put that little tea light there. Okay? I paid $15 for this whole box. I will definitely use everything in it. There's another little Christmas tree. Very unique. I can put that on a wreath. I can put that in an arrangement. I could clip off the bottom. So I could put another stand on it. Then... I love, 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 love snowmen. He, he's definitely not real heavy, so we could put him in a wreath or an arrangement. He's got a really good, um, like, cloth hat. Then there was a little snowman. Definitely use him. I don't know what I would use this for. Well, it's got a snowman on it. Put a light in there. You could put this in the middle of a candle ring and make a nice arrangement for a table. Another pine cone. And remember how we did that, um, that crock, where we covered the crock, and then, who was it? Dawn said, oh, I could put a little tree in that crock and decorate it. Look at this. We got a little tree. So if we found a little crock, we could even put it on top of that and like the bottom. And if I didn't like this, I could paint it. I could wrap it with fabric. Several ideas you could do with that. Okay. Then there was this red um, container. I always look for containers. These make an awesome little gift. I could put um, vinyl on here. I could just fill it with all these little things. Definitely, you know, use that. Then there was a little pick in there. I know I'll use that. You know I'll use that. Then I like the grungy stuff. And there were these grungy, grungy candy canes. So you know I'll use those. And then there was this little basket. Really cute. Now, I could put this basket... In, in a wreath, I could have some things sticking out the top here. You could put that grungy candle in there or a little tea light. That's really cute. I try to go for a box of stuff because I know darn well they've sorted through it. They want to get rid of it. 
Then there was a W in there, and the W has a price of $4 on the back. Well, my daughter, my stepdaughter, her last name starts with a W. I'll make a wreath, and I'll stick that on a wreath for her. Then this was my favorite. Now, I know the ribbon looks pretty bad, but this is that really worn wood, and there is a hole here, so I could put a base. I could stick it in here, put a lot of, of pine in here with some lights, and redo the ribbon up here. That would make the cutest little decoration, wouldn't it? So what I'm saying is, I like to go for unusual things, and this is where I hit the jackpot for $15. And I, I showed you in the beginning how to go to Marketplace. Hi Z, how are ya? So yeah, I mean, this alone was worth the $15. And I'm gonna do her up on a live. We're gonna have fun with this one. So basically that's what I was showing you. There are other places you can find unique things. You just have to look. Like somebody took um, a gumball machine the other day, JoJo's Creations, Rustic Creations. She took a gumball machine. She filled it with snow and a little scene and put a beautiful bow on it. Guess what? I found one online. I'm waiting for the lady to call me back. So there are so many things out there you could do with this whole box and and far exceed the $15 I paid for everything total. Does anybody have any questions? Have any of you ever looked on Marketplace and found things? Have you ever thought about looking on Marketplace? Do you think I got a good deal for 15? <laughs> I think I got an awesome deal for $15. These alone, I mean, this alone, I don't know if you've ever seen them all glittered up. They're beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So don't always look in the regular places. Of course, I sprayed all this with my Norwex spray to make sure everything, I actually left it in the car for a couple days. Um, they were healthy people, so you just have to, a lot of times people say, well, I want that and I want that and I want that, and they'll say, no, I just want to get rid of everything together because they don't want it all hanging around. And that's when you can get the best deal. I know. So that's why you need to go. I'm in a rural area too, Susan. But if you go on Facebook, you... Where is it? My computer. You have to make sure that when you're in there that you have a mile set up your filters on your filters you need to put your town how many miles you're willing to go and then when you search like here we search Christmas decorations and we found this whole box for $45 there were other ones on here so I hit my local pickup and what you do is you meet people you say, where do you do meets? And you should say, well, I meet at Walmart here, or I meet at the 7-Eleven here. And I always try and meet them during the day. I always let my husband know where I'm going. And I always tell him I'm going to be sitting in the parking lot with my four ways on. And when they drive up, if things don't look comfortable, then I just crack my window. But for the most part, it's an awesome way to find unique stuff. Look, somebody's got a bunch of Christmas villages. Ornaments. Um, what else we got? There's a whole bunch of snowmen. 
Look at that. A whole, there's a whole bunch of snowmen together. I mean, it's just a nice way to find unique stuff. And that's what I like. I like unique things in my arrangements. If you go back, Susan, to the beginning and you can do the replay, I showed everybody the $15 worth of stuff I got. She had it at 25 and then she marked it down to 20 and then I offered her 15 and she took it. So there are so many things. Look, I mean, this thing alone has a price tag of $12 on it. I put a nice base on that. I can put it in the middle of a wreath. I could put a whole arrangement around it. I could put lights underneath it. They would shine through here real nice. No, you didn't, Missy. All you have to do is hit replay, honey. But what I was telling everybody is go to your Facebook marketplace, go into the filters, put your area in how far you're willing to go, I'll just pull everything out of the box again. I went over everything. I showed everybody, look at this girl. She was in the box. And that was for $15. I live in Pennsylvania, Susan. Northern Central Pennsylvania. But this was my $15 box. And everything in here, I am going to use. We got a skate. We got those rustic, grungy candy canes, a, a tin, a stocking. And these make beautiful, beautiful um, door hangers with an arrangement in them. Another snowman. And these three snowmen and all these little little things. Let's look at this thing. I know. And even a grungy candle. And I love grungy. So, a tea light. Oh, and there were two little candle holders in there with two little votive candles that smell amazing. <laughs> I have them in my store. I don't light them because um, my dogs don't do well with candles. Some candles are actually um, dangerous for pets. So they're smelling up my, my store really good. Right? So I'm just saying, don't, I like to go for unusual and this is how I find unusual. Look at this, this is the old distressed wood. Like I said, we could put this on a peg. I can put this in the middle of a wreath. I can redo this ribbon. And some of these I will be doing on a live, so you'll see exactly what I'm going to do with them. But all for 15 bucks. So if you want unusual and you're on a budget, I mean, remember the other week when we did the crock and then Dawn said, I'm going to put a little tree in my crock and decorate it? Boom, I got a little tree. Where's my cup? Remember that cup I got for 49 cents? Look at this. We could put that in there. It's got a sweater on it. Now, now on Facebook, I went to Marketplace. And a lady was selling. That's where a lot of people sell their stuff is on Facebook Marketplace. And you just make sure that you put in how far you're willing to travel and what, you know, and then make sure you hit local pickup. Do not buy anything that's shipped. A lot of times you're going to get messed up. You're going to get screwed. They're going to, they're going to take your money and run, baby. So there was my $15 box. And this is what I went for. And a lot of times people say, well, will you just sell that and they'll say no I want to get rid of everything so then you get them give them a low price and boom isn't that going to be cute when I change her all up she is going to be adorable but I will I will use all these in upcoming lives so you'll get to see what I do but 
all that for 15. So don't, don't look in the stores right now. Look on there. People need money right now. They're willing to part with some really good stuff for low prices. And I've got a one of a kind. That's what, when I make something, I like it to be one of a kind. I know, isn't she pretty? She, I've been wanting to do one of those for a while. And it's a shame because it has a really nice light set on it. It's actually these, these, these pines sticking, or the, like the woodsy looking stuff out here. And it doesn't work. But I may be able to get my husband to clean up the box. And maybe if we just replace some of the contacts, we can get it working. But that alone was worth the 15 bucks. Yep, actually got a battery pack. So, but the, the where the batteries were, it's a little corroded. So we're gonna have to go change it. But there you go. I can make a ton of gifts out of just this and hit a lot of people on my list. Ooh, you guys have to watch Missy. Is that at two o'clock, Missy? Or three? Missy's making her snowman wreath. Put a link in, hon, so they can find ya. Missy asked me, she had a special request from a customer for her, is it her son? He's with the LGBT community. So, what time? 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Missy's going to put her link in there. And the snowman I made her, she's going to make a wreath with it today. So, we got to watch. So I hope I gave you some ideas. Look for different stuff. It was well worth it. What are you gonna be doing, Susan? That's her channel, My Sunshine Wreaths and Things. And then I thought I'd show you what I did today these are my newest items. Oh, thanks, Susan. Baby's first Christmas. Personalized ornaments. I did that today. And this is a sign that Z helped me with. And what she did was, you see these little, I forgot, sugar, sugar, they're called sugar something sugared balls picks okay she actually put the sugar balls in there so these picks are now in my sign isn't that adorable be joyful so that'll be going in the shop soon i don't know if i'm going to put these in the shop soon I'm getting a lot of local orders, so I'm running out of <laughs> running out of them. Three inch rounds. Is that the size? These are MDF, but I have the metal. Well, I can do it now. I've got them. So. I just thought they looked so cute. Aren't they cute? Yep, I got them now. All right, I'll be on tomorrow at two. Don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Maybe we'll do her. Should I do her tomorrow? Or should we do my $3 lantern? <laughs> I love the beveled glass in here. That is just awesome. You too, Susan. I know, they they just look so cute. 
and I, I, I don't think I posted a picture of last night's wreath, but after doing the angel, I actually went back in and added some um, holly berries, just the berries. It needed some red, so. I know. Like I said, I would have paid $15 for her alone. I didn't mind the other stuff. <laughs> yes. But they're ornaments, too. It's my first time trying the um, MDF. I um, actually have a bunch of MDF earrings. I don't know, Missy, because I have to make the gnome first, and I probably won't have time before um, surgery on Thursday. So I'll probably have to wait till next week. Hopefully... Everything goes good. I have my balls right here. <laughs> so, and I got my ribbon. So I'm hoping. I will let you know. All right, so look for Missy today at 3. And thanks for popping in. I hope I encouraged you to uh, look local, keep things out of the landfill, and make something really cute. Oh, I figured you would, and I get that, Missy. Understand. All right, you all have a great evening, and I'll see you tomorrow at 2. Thanks for stopping. Bye.